James Morton and welcome to the website. Uh, and today we're going to take a look at a great chart, a great funky chart, Cold Sweat by James Brown. I've often thought that if you can play the tunes, of the songs of James Brown, uh, you're on your way to becoming a solid drummer because his uh, music was solid, it had breaks, it had syncopation, it had funkiness, it had all those elements that uh, go for good, exciting, solid drumming. So uh, I, I'd love for you to give your best shot at it, and uh, we're going to get started right now. Let's break down the two main beats that are in Cold Sweat. There are two patterns, and they're almost twins. Uh, what I've seen in my experience when people try this pattern is that their left foot hangs them up, trips them up. So what, let's, let's do this. Let's look at your, your basic uh, first beat. It's a two measure pattern and forget the open hi-hat stuff for now. What you've got is this. So one, two, four, and that repeats. Okay, so let me do it a few times to get the feel of it. Uh, notice that the back beat on the first met on four is pushed over to the end of four. It's a big old hunk of syncopation there. So here it goes again. Three and four and one. four. Again, what throws people is the interaction of that pattern against the hi hat. Uh, if you take a look at the chart, uh, I'm looking basically at the second line, but I'm, I could be looking at uh, the first three lines. But there's an open hi-hat on the end of one and the end of three throughout. One and two and three and four. Here's the secret. Don't think about coming up on the end of one, one and the end of... Don't think coming up. One and three. Think coming down on two and four, because that's what they were. They were old school drummers, and playing on two and four with the left foot is very old school, very traditional. It goes back to the swing jazz thing. Okay, so it's, 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 it was automatic with those guys. So all they did is they played a funky pattern, and their years of grooving with the two and four, just entered it in, and they were able to pull it off, and now we've got to be able to pull it off. Now, put those two together, and we got this. Again, if you think your left foot coming down on two and four, instead of coming up on the end of one and three, You'll get a whole lot more mileage. It'll become a lot more natural to you. Um, like a lot of things coordinational, uh, it may not come together immediately. Take your time. Be patient. Put those two things together and don't give up. Go slow and you'll get it. Now, the, the next pattern, the B pattern, is almost the same. The only difference is there's a snare hit on one. And that kind of coincides with the horn and the guitar hit. So you go bop, bop. And he's just, the drummer's going with him. Okay, so uh, it's basically this, without the open hi-hat. Okay, three and four and four. With the uh, open hi-hat, you know what, it feels a little funny hitting that thing on one. All right, just get used to it. times two, two measure pattern, and you, and you move into those great horn hits, uh, which are so symptomatic of uh, James Brown music. A lot of horn hits, breaks, hits, punches, setups, and you're moving into that line where it goes one, two, and three, and four, and two, in a cold sweat. Top, and if you can do that much, you can do the whole chart. I'll see you on the next clip.